Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am Patty Jack. We're debuting a new little series here that I'm going to call Scratching the Itch. .io. It's a really clever wordplay right there. Basically, the premise of this is I'm going to go through a bunch of new games over on itch.io, the indie game slash randomware platform. It's kind of like Steam, but it's it's not. It's like if Steam Greenlight sometimes had good things. And we're going to go through and play a bunch of different weird games that get released on it, because why not, right? It, it seems like a terrible idea. So, we're starting out with Mauled by a Bear Simulator. I don't know if these games are going to be good or not, so this could be the greatest game ever. That's fine. So what we're going to do is kind of just start playing it and see what happens. I think we'll go to the options menu first, though. Kind of see what's going on around there. So, enable pause. Yeah, or nah. Okay, that's fine. Show hints. Sure or gross. Okay, cool. Difficulty. Baby bear, mama bear, or papa bear. We ain't no mama bear. We are a papa bear, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to save and exit that. I have to do all this with the keyboard, by the way. Mouse controls don't seem to want to work very well. I'm also running this in windowed mode because it doesn't have a full screen option. I mean, I can kind of make it kind of full screen, but it's still in a window, so that's always fun. So I guess it's a one or two player game. We, all, we only have one person here because I don't have friends, so we're just going to do one player. That's totally fine. I don't know... Am I supposed to catch the apples? I feel like I'm supposed to catch the apples. Now there's bears running after me. Do I shoot apples? Okay. So I'm shooting bears with apples, apparently. That's, um... That's a thing that happens. So I guess we shoot that bear. I don't know if the bears are getting happy because the apples are... feeding them, or if... the apples have some sort of explosive. Oh, no. Can I jump at all? I feel like I might be screwed. Um... The bear didn't... It didn't hurt me. It just kind of went through me. Oh, that one works. Okay. Cool. So, sometimes the bears just touch you and decide that they don't want any piece of you. I guess that's kind of cool. A little bit confusing, but that's okay. So, we have the local top 10 bear maulers. We have 4TE, Fen, Wub, Dick, Land, Dad, Lad, Nad, Sad, and Bad. Unfortunately, I wasn't as good as even bad. That's kind of annoying. Let's try that one more time. Let's, gonna, let's see what the dealio is. Okay, so it plays through the opening animation again. Some wonderful work right here. Okay. Mauled by a bear simulator. Well, we definitely got mauled by a bear. Wasn't the first bear that should have mauled us, but it was a bear that mauled us nonetheless. So I guess the strategy would be kind of to stay on this half for as long as you can so you have a higher chance of being able to get the apples um, over that way. There we go. Alright, so we're doing a little bit better right now. So we're gonna go grab these apples. If we just stay here as long as we can, take out as many bears as possible. We still have three more apples. Okay, so we're now further than we were before. We have a, we have a big surplus of apples. Oh, the bears are coming from both sides now. They're switching it up a bit on us here. Okay, I have two apples left. That's perfect. Awesome. Cool, so now I think we've officially done better than bad in the leaderboards. And that's what we have to really strive for in life. Okay, so we can probably take these ones out then. We wasted an apple. That's not a good thing at all. Uh-oh. We have, pol we have sno polar snow Christmas bears. They seem to do the exact same thing. But nonetheless, they're Christmas bears. Cool. Okay. I like it. Reskinning enemies. Always a plus. Polar bears are the most vicious bear as well. They are the only carnivore that will actually hunt people. Fun fact. I don't know how I... That bear has a baseball. That I shot back at the bear. Oh god, we're playing Pong. We're playing baseball Pong with a, with a home run... De Jose Bautista bear. Oh my god, what do I do in this scenario? Okay. I feel like this did not go well at all. What do I do? How do I- I can't duck. There's no button to duck. Okay, well, we failed against the baseball bear, unfortunately. But, you know what? We did alright. So we have to... Enter our name. We can only do this using the arrow keys, by the way. I can't actually just type this on my keyboard, so that's good. Um... 
I guess we're gonna call it something. We'll do... Oh my god, this is infuriating. Why did I go that way? I could have easily gone in a different direction. Eh. Come on, where's E? I should probably learn how alphabets work, right? Okay, that way. And then it goes into numbers, this is so confusing. Alright, so I'll see how accurate this actually was. So in Mauled by a Bear Simulator, are you ready to be mauled by a bear? Well, I was very ready. It didn't really help. Help gay pals Kevin and Caleb. What? What? At, at what point was it made clear that they were gay? I mean, that's probably... Okay, no, to be honest, that's actually kind of an okay thing. Because they didn't feel the need in this game to specifically point out that the characters are gay other than giving us a little bit of, like, lore explanation for it. So you know what? You, you've you done a more subtle job than most other games. That's totally fine. And what was supposed to be a romantic camping trip, apparently, as they are confronted by hordes of angry homophobic bears. Oh, man. I thought these bears were kind of cool at first, but it turns out these bears are homophobes. I mean, all right. I, I had no idea. I don't feel bad about throwing explosive apples at them anymore. Luckily for our heroes, they've set up camp under wild apple trees, and Caleb's days as an, as an ace pitcher are ready to pay off. Features fight off hundreds of bears in arcade-style action, play alone or locally with a friend, and encounter strange and fantastic bears as the game points. Well, we found um, Christmas bears and the baseball bears, so that's pretty cool. All right, so... This game took a, a a very left turn in political standpoints, but all in all, it's kind of neat. It's not super difficult, but it's a nice little kind of retro style game. Again, the homophobe stuff came out of complete nowhere, but you know what? I guess it's a positive message that bears who are homophobic should probably explode. That's all I'm getting out of this.